Noel Reed, sponsored by CC Roofing and Construction Company. Good evening, Concho Valley. It has been a rather warm afternoon. The numbers do not lie. We got to 94 degrees today, 5 degrees away from that average high of 89, but thankfully nowhere near the record high of 110 set back just a few years ago. Not picking up any rainfall as of now, or at least as of this afternoon, but that could change as we head into late tomorrow evening. I think the better chances will be in our northern counties tonight. Still on a pretty warm 89 degrees out there. Dew points have increased out of 63 degrees. That's the reason you're seeing a little bit more cloud cover than what you saw earlier this afternoon. We're also seeing a south wind, a light south wind at five miles per hour. We're going to turn our way towards the Midwest. Once again, we're looking at a potential severe weather outbreak taking place. This stalled boundary is not going to help out in that terms of uh, severe weather for the remainder of this evening for you folks to our north. As we take a look down towards the plains, the southern plains, and even the state of Texas, we've got a dry line draped across the western portions of the Concho Valley. There's a front just to our northwest. This front's going to stay camped out here, eventually move to the north, move down to the south Wednesday and Thursday. This will bring those rain chances with us and keep it with us at least for the remainder of the work week. Right now, a local look at our satellite and radar. Not much going on. We're still seeing some light clouds trying to move in and this will eventually increase. I'm going to show you right now. This is all going to increase from the southeast and moving out towards the north. We'll be waking up to some uh, potentially light rain, maybe some stronger thunderstorms to our northwest. Take a look at the 730 to 8 o'clock hour. You'll be seeing a chance for a stray shower across much of the Concho Valley. We begin to clear out throughout the afternoon. That will allow for a few peaks of sunshine. Temperatures will warm right back into the mid to upper 80s, and that could once again spark a few showers and thunderstorms. I think we'll see some isolated activity out towards our southeast late Wednesday, but as we head into Thursday afternoon, we could be seeing this making a return something we will continue to monitor. So as of tonight, we are in a one out of five, a marginal risk for an isolated strong to severe storm situated out towards our west and northern parts of the Concho Valley, even including Tom Green and San Angelo. Now for your Wednesday, this becomes a two out of five, a slight risk, meaning scattered strong to severe storms can't be ruled out. Here's a look at those uh, threats as we move into tonight and through Wednesday evening, 60 mile per hour winds. We're talking large hail, potentially getting about two inches in diameter, localized flash flooding, frequent lightning, and even an isolated tornado can't be ruled out as these thunderstorms begin to progress. So the estimated rainfall totals I'm going with through Saturday afternoon, maybe three quarters of an inch. We could see some isolated locations with those severe thunderstorms dropping two, possibly three inches through Saturday. Your temperatures right now on the warm side, 88 degrees in El Dorado, 90 Mertz and 91 out towards Big Lake. We're seeing temperatures still at 92 in Robert Lee. Your wind speeds are primarily out of the southeast now, 5 to 15 miles per hour. Menard picking up winds close to 20 miles per hour. We're seeing wind gusts a little higher. Those dew points, you can make out exactly where that dry line sits. 71 degree dew points out in Del Rio, 17 degree dew points out towards our west in El Paso. So once again, the dry air will stay out towards the west. Mild and breezy tonight with those increasing clouds. We're seeing a 40% chance for showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lingering rain chances still possible by your morning commute. Your forecast tomorrow, 88. Some areas could see those upper uh, 80s, lower 90s front will eventually arrive in some of our counties. A few strong to severe storms can't be ruled out. As a result, and for your forecasts, for the next several days, the cold front will try to move through Wednesday and Thursday. We'll see those highs back into the lower 80s on your Thursday. Showers and thunderstorms remain uh, widespread through Friday. And then we'll see that dry air pattern, uh, dry air mass try to return by Sunday and through early part of next week.